Hey, my name is Michael, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Mac OS icon template that you can get from applypixels.com. If you're making icons for Mac OS, this template will help you to quickly build out the various desktop sizes. Some of the highlights include that you can render all of the Mac OS app icon sizes from a single size. You can preview your icon in the dock in Finder and on the App Store. And the template includes one-click export actions that spits out all the different files that you need. What you need is the folder downloaded from applypixels.com and it includes a PSD file, an actions file, and a readme file. You'll also need a copy of Photoshop, preferably a newer Creative Cloud version. And before we get started creating icons, you need to remember to import the actions that comes bundled with this template, the ATN file. And you simply do that by double clicking the ATN file. That will add the actions to your actions pane in Photoshop. And if you're not seeing your actions pane, remember you can always access it by going to window and clicking actions. We'll get back to those actions. Now let's make an icon. We'll open up the main PSD file. It looks something like this. And the idea behind this template and several of the other icon templates that you can get from Apply Pixels is that you edit the largest size and all of the other sizes are rendered out automatically. There's a bunch of stuff out here on the right hand side in the layers pane, but all you really need to concern yourself with is this layer right here called edit me and save. You want to right click that and hit edit contents. This is the canvas in which you will create your icon. It's a 1024 by 1024 pixel canvas and it comes bundled with a bunch of neat little building blocks for you. First of all, we've got a couple of iOS gradients things that are native on iOS and that sometimes also spills over to Mac OS. So that's a bunch of colors just to get you started. I'll show you how to use those in a second. You also get a standard circle shape, which is very common on Mac OS, and you can use that to build off. Let me show you how you create a really quick icon. Let's hide the little glyph here and um, note that we have the icon grid that Apple has provided. You don't need to follow this religiously, but it's nice that it's there. Let's change the color of this icon. Let's just take some inspiration from the iOS colors and copy over a lovely gradient. I'm gonna clip that onto this ellipse. There, beautiful. Now this isn't exactly a tutorial on how to make awesome icons, but rather just how to use this template. Uh, let's go with something really simple. Let's create a custom shape, good old heart. And you know, maybe we'll actually take uh, and copy this layer style from the, the glyph that I've included. I want to paste that here. Gives it a little bit of tactility. Let's hide the grid. Now oh, that's looking really nice. Once we're finished with our masterpiece, all we need to do is hit Control S on a Windows PC or Command S on a Mac. It'll save out the nested smart object and we can go ahead and close that. And what you see now is that all the sizes have been rendered out. Magical. And we also have some pretty cool preview stuff going on here where you can see your icon in the dark and in the finder. Now you can obviously go back and forth and edit this until you're happy. Once you're happy, you can go and find the actions that we imported before. That's both an action that saves straight to the desktop and one that saves with a dialog box. Let's just save it straight to the desktop. Go ahead and play that action. And if we go to our desktop now, you'll notice that there's a bunch of different files here with all the various sizes that we need to bundle with our app. That's really cool. And that's how you use the macOS icon template. You can get this template and other cool design resources by becoming a subscribing member at applypixels.com. I really hope this template helps you improve your workflow and create better icons. Thanks for watching.